I picked this brace up at a flea market for a buck. I was attracted to the nice wood handles. The mechanism was pretty badly rusted up. I decided to soak the mechanism in evaporust. I was hoping the evaporust would remove the rust and free up the frozen parts. Here's what the mechanism looked like after soaking overnight and then rinsed with water. The chuck spun right off and the ratchet was freed up. Score a win for evaporust. I started with the six inch wire wheel removing the rust from the frame. The shape made this an awkward job. I tried to reach some of the tougher spots with a smaller wire wheel in my drill. I ended up using my Dremel to finish off the frame. I went over all of the metal with my Scotch-Brite disc to even out the finish. I used the steel wool and drill bit trick to clean the inside of the chuck. I used some fine steel wool on the wooden head and sweep handles. I didn't want to sand these down to bare wood. I just wanted to polish up the original finish. Look how nice the wood came out after a couple of coats of wax. So here's the brace in action. I'm using an 11 16 bit. The ratchet mechanism comes in handy if you're drilling in tight spaces. The evaporust was the real hero on this project. A soak overnight saved me from struggling with that frozen mechanism. This brace is marked Fulton 8. My research indicates Fulton was an early Sears house brand that predated Craftsman. This is a page out of a 1922 Sears Roebuck catalog. Looks like the 8 inch sweep was $2. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. This adjustable bit was part of my recent Facebook Marketplace haul. I thought the rack and pinion mechanism was cool, but I figured it was too far gone. After how well the evaporust worked on the Fulton brace, I decided to give it a soak. The evaporust worked its magic again. The assembly came apart pretty easily. I cleaned the parts up with the wire wheel and coated them with paste wax. I took a guess at which edges to sharpen and touched them up with a file. To adjust the diameter, you loosen this lock screw and turn the pinion gear to move the rack in and out. Once I got the bit started in the wood, I found the ratchet action of the brace helpful in cutting the hole. I'm cutting an inch and three quarter diameter hole. Not bad for a bit I thought was too far gone.